Hello viewers, this is Ryze. Welcome back to Let's Play uh, Wild Arms 2. Last time we fought Antonora and, uh, well, it hasn't gone so well. Looks like Brad really is a traitor. I don't know why Ashley is shouting impossible and then asking Antonora if she's sure, if she is sure that Brad is a traitor. <laughs> really? Are you sure about that, Antonora? Maybe Brad is just messing around. Oh, man. Poor translations are fun. What about it, Antonara? Okay. Whatever you say. Whoa! What the hell, game? Doppelganger? I'll say. Did Lizard make that? Probably. Or maybe not. How the hell does that work? So, when the hell did Brad become this doppelganger? Well, real quickly. My theory is that Brad was that the Brad that was in your party was always the real Brad, but the doppelganger was the one talking to the uh, the Odessa member there in uh, Courtly when Brad was off taking a walk for no apparent reason. Um, the doppelganger took advantage to hold that meeting there with the one Odessa member in Courtly. And uh, when Brad returned and Ashley was all suspicious, Brad didn't answer where he was because he didn't think anything of it because he wasn't talking to that guy. That wasn't Brad. That's my theory. It's never really explained, but whatever. Um, it's really not important. Oh, okay. Well, you suck. How can we fight five Brads? Why didn't they just, like, clone all of us and, uh, send them at us if they're exactly as strong as us? Whatever. Hey, it's the real Brad. What the hell? I thought they were just as strong as Brad, and he comes in and kicks it in the shin and it dies? Okay. That's true. But, I don't think the real Brad would have kicked a clone in the chin. Alright, Ashley, let's do it. Friendship is the answer to all your problems. Of course! Whoa, what are you doing? Hey, we need that to blow up the reactor! Way to blow us all up. Whoa. Well, did you take out Antonora? I like how Antonora's just like, pfft, wasting my time. But, um, yeah, we failed. We gotta retreat and regroup. Why not? But how? We, we used up the bomb. What's with the ellipses, man? Oh, there's a bomb right in his freaking neck? But we don't know how to take it out. We'll just call Irving. I'm sure he'll deactivate it, and uh, we'll take it out, and uh, we'll throw it in, right? Oh, crap. Oh. <clears throat> Wait, what? Y you're not gonna do... Brad, you can't do that. You you have the most HP in the game. We, we need you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um... Just, we'll, uh... We'll glue you back together with super glue after you blow up your freaking neck. Yeah, um, evacuate. Well, this turned depressing. Later, Brad. Um, don't make a mess. Really? Huh. Well, that sucks. I love how the clones don't even really care that he just went in there. Oh, yeah, you won't understand how Billy felt when he sacrificed himself. But... No! You... You gotta come back, man! You're awesome! But... No! Yeah, this scene did get to me when I first saw it, I'll admit it. 
I mean, he blows himself up! Because apparently we, uh, couldn't go be bothered to, uh, get another bomb. Aw, oh, man. I love how they do that fade out effect, the little monochrome there. That's so awesome. It's the simple things that really add to that scene. It's one of the best scenes in the game. I like how Tim's just, like, cracking up. Cracking there. Oh, okay, so it was Gius. Um, probability of survival? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it kind of blew up his insides. I, I don't think he can survive that. Sorry, Brad. Little late, Ashley. The guy's in a hundred pieces. Um, we have to destroy Odessa. Otherwise, what's the meaning of his sacrifice? Um, no, look, that's not going to bring Brad back. Yeah, he's all right. Who? Oh, the Gilglad Master's son. All right. Wait, why? Why would they attack his son? Huh. Eh, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Long distance subway. You're kidding me, game, right? Oh, man. Yep. Alright. Let's, uh, save up here and, uh, take a pause break and I'll be right back. Alright, at this point in the game, you need to make a separate save file. Like I'm doing here. Um, you absolutely need to have a separate save file. Because there's a part coming up where if you're not prepared and you go in there you and you save... You are screwed! And you may actually have to restart the entire game. Yeah. I know from experience. Oh well. Let's, um, get out of here. Oh. Duh. Wow. I thought that we were grounded there for a second. So it's how much I know. Where's the uh, elevator? There it is. Gotta go to the cockpit. The cockpit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're gonna pick the cockpit. Yeah. Oh well, let's um. Let's go ahead and do it here. Um. We want to, uh, teleport. But first I want to take a pit stop at Maria Bowl and, uh... Pick up a crest cap. I think we have both shield and protect at this point. We're gonna need it. We're gonna definitely need the protect spell now. Well, maybe not definitely, but it's certainly helpful. Alright, let's, uh, let's get rid of that, and, uh, let's get another slowdown. Fairly useful. Make sure I have... At this point in the game, you really might want to p consider picking up physical defense off for even your fighter, even Ashley. It's really helpful to you. Okay, I got it. Alright, well, we'll head, um... Over to the, uh, oh, duh, I should restore my ammo. We'll make our way to the subway and, uh, that'll be it. Let's go on over here. Still got another minute. 
Heliport Orb Quartley. No, it's not the deserty area. We actually have to go into the town. Just passing through this time. Through the sand flats. Should be right over there. Yeah, there it is. Alright, well that's about all the time I have for today. So next time we'll uh, head on into the subway and uh, protect the Gilgalad Master's son. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next time. And a uh, moment of silence for Brad. <laughs>